Good morning. I'm Gary Stone, and uh, I've been a member of this church for 50 years. And I want you to know that I find this group to be the most beautiful group of people I've ever worshipped with in the present tense. And I'm, uh, in a sense, I guess I'm playing the beautiful game. Let me, let me tell you about this, and I'm, I have people in Australia listening to me speak at this very moment who taught me the beautiful game. They said, um, it's, it's actually Lisa and Peter, and Lisa was working with her granddaughter, young granddaughter, and taught her the game. You, um, you simply say to the other person, I see something beautiful. And then you say the reason why. I find you all beautiful because you're so enthusiastic and you're so involved in the church in a way that I never saw it, people in this church be involved. We usually left it up to the pastors, you know, and the, and the paid staff. But now we're all engaged in some kind of a way that, that makes me understand what real beauty and real uh, discipleship is. So I want to tell you about a Tuesday night that I had. I was going to attend a Faith Formation Advisory Committee meeting, and somehow I didn't get the memo on my email that it was actually going to be held in the office. So I walked past, I walked in those doors and walked down, heading toward room 115. And in the first room, the choir room, I encountered the um, summer, uh, summer voices, I forget what they're called, and maybe somebody, come on, the summer harmony group. And they were rehearsing. And I just thought to myself, here's a group of men who aren't arguing. They are producing some of the most beautiful sounds I've heard in a long time. And I smiled as I walked by and then I peeked in and I saw a number of people I recognized back here. <laughs> um, the second thing I had met was, and, and I started to think, maybe I'm walking with the Holy Spirit here. <laughs> second thing I saw were people in the kitchen, um, Bev and other people. Uh, and I, they were speaking in hushed voices. And I thought, what's going on here? They, I said, Why, what's cooking? Well, we're cooking food for the people who are the families that are homeless. There are four families in what we used to call the, Scott, uh, the Scout Recreation Room, right? And they're, 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 uh, you know, they're resting right now. We're respecting their privacy. Um, my heart started to get a little warmer. It was like the Grinch on Christmas. And I walked a little further down the street, and there's Greg Palmer issuing people into the, that south door and registering them for the bipolar and depression support group. And they're you know, there are, there are family members and, and folks who, who have, have depression all, all uh, getting together. And I know that that group's been meeting a long time. Um, the next thing I saw in room 115, where I thought my meeting was, was a, a um, co-ed group of people doing faith formation. And, you know, since I was going to attend the Faith Formation Committee meeting, I thought, this is great. Well, you know, here they are all facing forward. But there, um, there was laughter. You know, there was joy in the room. You know, you don't always connect Faith Formation with joy, but here was, here was a joyful group. I, I finally would, was able to get to my room when, and, because I looked at my telephone and I said, okay, the meeting's at the office. I can, I can find my way back to the, the office. And as I entered that room, I heard a discussion that involved um, all of the programs that were 
established for adults, and all of the programs that were established for children and families. And the excitement that came from the people who were leading those groups, I'm looking at one of them right now, <laughs> who's our committee chairman. You know, we, there was an enthusiasm in that group that said to me, this is not a dying church. This is a church that's being revived after the COVID, after a lot of other discussions. We have pulled ourselves together. And so when I received my envelope yesterday in the mail, I had some reason to fill out my pledge card and related it to the Tuesday night that I just had experienced just a week or two ago. And um, I want you to know that pledging is not just money. It is also self. And that every one of us, no matter who we are, no matter what our age, you know, an almost 81-year-old guy, you know, we have skills to offer. We have something that we can give to this church. You may not think it's there, but you have something to offer. And there is a greater level of participation than I've ever seen before. So that's why I think you're beautiful.